I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. This is Dabu 7. We have some proof here now that the White House was backing a false flag in Syria. This is from a scrubbed article, actually, from earlier this year, one I had connected in a video that they had brought down. As I go back researching and looking, the original link had been scrubbed from the mail online. But if you go digging and looking, sometimes you find what you're looking for. And in the Wayback Machine, we found it. The U.S. backed plan to launch a chemical weapon attack on Syria and blame it on Assad. This is a false flag at its finest. They, as of today, launched a huge chemical attack that some 1,300 people were reported killed. And they're saying it was a chemical attack. And at the same time, U.S. Israel forces came in from Jordan with Jordanian forces, and about 250 of them at first, and came in to Syria to try to take over a couple cities. So... This was from January, and it's been scrubbed, and I'm, I'm wanting to bring it to your attention because they had used emails that were sent back and forth that were based on a plan to pull this off and that it was all approved by the White House. I'll leave a link to the cash copy, but this is as close as you're going to get to headlines coming out stating that the White House had backed a false flag plan inside of Syria. Also in here, you might be able to access some of the links that are in here, too. This is the only way you're going to get it. Get it before they remove it as well. Or this video. I'll leave a link. Till next time, Dabu7. Eyes open. This is Dabu7. Syria. Biblically speaking. In one of its darkest hours. And we may very well witness the fall of Damascus here. In the coming days and months ahead. It is in my belief if this false messiah of peace doesn't step on the scene and cause peace and, and halt everything, uh, you will see Damascus get hit. But we could be in store for a lot of things. With that said, I've exposed a lot of information on Egypt and Syria here in the past week, dealing with the fact that they were putting out fake news, fake wounds, fake deaths, and they were selling it. That's right, getting paid to the Western media that knew it was fake and then passing it on to fit their agenda. I also exposed how they went into Egypt and got a hold of their, their youth and indoctrinated them with democracy, filled their heads, used fake accounts in social media like Facebook and other apps, started a revolution, got these people in the square, and they unknowingly overthrew Mubarak. And they put him in prison, but then the next thing they know, who's there to take over? Morsi, a puppet in the Muslim Brotherhood. And that's where it's all began. That's where all the murder and the killings coming from. It's the Egyptian army and the people trying to fight off the Muslim Brotherhood and the terrorist. And in Syria, it is Assad, his people, and his army fighting off the terrorist once again. And you know who the real terrorists are here. There's, I just put out a video explaining their plan that was scrubbed um, from headlines were they backed of this exact situation? The golden ticket for war. I'll leave links as always. Till next time, Dabu7. Eyes open.